Right, here we are. Um, just had a little bit of a clean up. Just to move things out of the way. And we're going to use our cleaning tissue. Our alcohol cleaning tissue. Oh. Oh, remove that. And again, this is quite a big. Oh, what we can do is we just run that over our processor. Making sure I clean up any more residue that needs to come off. And that will dry relatively quickly because of the alcohol content, we'll just leave that there like so, again we want to clean just the alcohol pads, just go over this, make sure we're removing anything that might be stray or left behind that's going to interfere with our cooling. Okay, and then we can set them down to dry. As I said, they won't take too long. Just going to give our CPU another quick wipe, actually. So here we go. Now there's our processor all nice and clean, our silicon all nice and clean, and hopefully we're going to be ready for the next step, which is our nail polish. Now what we're going to do with this nail polish is, let me find, okay, so where are we? Okay, so what we're going to do with our nail polish, um, let's use these uh, fibrous things. Um, we're going to pop a little bit just on there so that um, when we do apply our liquid metal over the silicon in a little while, um, that's not going to um, come off of here because if it touched these and these joined then goodbye chip basically so what we're going to do pop this down here we'll open up our Take that glue off the top. Okay. Now, we don't need a lot at all, so pretty much get most of this off of the brush because literally we just only want to apply a small amount. That's it. Just a small amount there to cover up bring this in closer. So you should be able to see 
There's a small amount. And that should be enough to protect that chip. What we'll do now is we'll leave this for an hour, leave it to dry, because uh, it is quite quick drying, and then we'll go on to our next stage, which is applying some liquid metal. Right, so um, an hour's gone past, and uh, just show you this. You can see that's now dried on there. nicely dried. So now comes the exciting part, <coughs> which is to apply the liquid metal ultra that we have. Um, now, you do have to apply only a very small amount. Now, I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, On there, there's already a tiny little blob. I'm not sure whether that's going to get into focus or not. But we don't really want much more than that. So we need to be very, very careful about what we put on. I'm just going to push this forward ever so slightly. Because literally, we just want the tiniest. And that could possibly be way too much. I'm just going to touch it onto the silicon, see what we get. In fact, because <clears throat> you really, oh, it could be too much. So, carefully while pulling back, over this, we can actually should be able to suck up some back into the tube. There we go. <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll try this. Now, I'm going to use a cotton bud to spread this out. And you want to just do it very, very gently. Just spreading it all across the silicon. And you don't really want any pools or any large parts of the processor with excess liquid. can do as well because we've got a small amount of liquid metal on the end. We can turn our top plate over. Now, being quite careful to orientate this correctly, <coughs> you'll notice that um, the actual silicon is slightly further to the top. So really we want to but a small amount here, roughly in that same area. So what we'll do, just move that to the side for now. And we should be able to start applying a small amount. As you can see, this stuff is still uh, a 
drove quite far, further than I had thought, to be, to be honest with you. Let's see if we can get a bit more off of this, because I think we've got a little bit too much liquid metal on there. There's a few little pools that you can see. So I attempt to uh, get rid of them. As you can see, that's been nicely covered now. I'm going to use a fresh. <clears throat> Actually, I might even just use this for now. We'll see. I'll give this a go. I'll try the brush. So. <clears throat> right, so our next step is we're going to bring back our Dr. David tool. And we're going to pop it in there, making sure that we're the right way up. And that sounds pretty well. Okay. Right, so we'll just pop that in there for now. Um, and now we need this piece because we're going to be applying some of this uh, silicon glue, heat resistant silicon glue. So we'll open this packet up. Again, all uh, links to the products I've used will be in the description. Okay, so we've got to break this cap. Now this is uh, quite sticky stuff. Um, you don't actually need a lot. 
hand really when you're uh, when you're using this um, you should put some gaps or leave some gaps around the edges I'm going to use um, just a small amount Ooh. way too much for now anyway so I've got a small amount here so we're just going to pop them along Just a quick clean up on the edges. And then that's it, we're about done. So remembering our orientation, which was this way around. When we do that, we'll put the cap back on here. Just be a bit more efficient. Lovely. <coughs> so as you can see, We've got our processor in the uh, Dr. D lid tool. It doesn't appear to be uh, any giant pools, I would say, of liquid metal. So hopefully we're good to go. So we've got to be rather careful here. Because we've got to plop this down manually. Um, and exactly how it was again you don't really really want to be skewing this thing next on we pop our Reset tool, however, there we go. That's all housed in. And the next thing, or last thing rather, is we're going to slide this tool in. Actually, like a complete noob, <coughs> I've got it the wrong way around. Mm. 
So this should be able to slide in. Okay, so the uh, video camera died just as I was um, about to put this kitty together. Um, this has been together now for um, about 24 hours. That's just been sitting there. So um, what we'll do, we'll take this off. Let's unscrew that. And this should slide out. Nice and easy. Um, and I suppose I'll show you again. Um, literally, this little kitty just slides in as such when you've put the um, your silicon glue on. And then literally, it's just tighten this, but you don't want to be doing it too tight. So literally, just finger tight. You don't want to be because. It's already pushing enough. I'm not sure whether you can see in there. So that's pushing down on the plate. Um, and that's been left there for 24 hours, etc. Anyhow, so we'll take this off, slide that out, and we'll take the seat tool off. There's this one. And put that to one side, and now we can see our chip. Hopefully, this will get into focus. Hopefully, it will. And that looks quite a clean. There we go. There's the underside of our bad boy. But as you can see. This one is uh, relatively clean all around the edges. I think we've got quite a good, we did quite a good job, to be honest. Right, so we'll pop that back. And the next thing for us to do. Actually, we'll put that in there for now, just to keep that safe. And we'll put that into our motherboard, which will be our next job. <laughs> 